Hello and welcome to another episode of Storyware Academy. My name is Paul Piskosz and today we will be talking about Proxmox. To be specific, uh, how Storyware Backup and Recovery can protect virtual machine running in Proxmox ecosystem. So let's go together and see how it works. Okay, so first of all, we need to log in into Storyware Backup and Recovery. Okay, when you see the main dashboard, first step to protect um, Proxmox environment is to add your Proxmox host into Storyware Backup and Recovery. How to do it properly? Virtual environments, virtualization provider, and here is a create button. We need to use it. Now from the list, we need to find and search for the Proxmox VA. Then we need to fill the gaps. So first of all, we need to provide IP where our Proxmox is located. I will be using one uh, cluster with two separate hosts. So first of all, I need to copy this IP. All right, and provide few information. So user login and password. My user is a root, so this will be a simple part, but password need to be copy paste. Then uh, we need to choose a proper node configuration. In my scenario, there's only one node with one node configuration, and we need to choose a proper strategy. Currently, Storyware Backup and Recovery support two separate strategies, depend on your um, disk which are used in the Proxmox. So if you are using Kukau 2 disk, you can choose SSH transfer. So here will be available for you full and incremental backups. But if you are using other disk than Kukau 2, uh, you need to use export storage a repository and if you choose that second one where the full backup is only available don't forget to uh, point where your backup storage on Proxmos is located. In my scenario it be protect. Uh, so uh, SSH transfer and now we can save a configuration. Storyware will ask you, do you want to synchronize a virtual provider in that scenario Proxmox? Yes, please. I, I don't want to save a password right now. Shortly, task has been submitted and you as administrator should be able to see a live progress on workflow console. Meanwhile, when, when synchronization is running, I will uh, add my another uh, host uh, from the cluster. This time I will use wizard uh, creator. So you can find configuration wizard on main dashboard in right top corner here. And simple as that, go directly into source, from the list, find Proxmox VA, go next, and same story. You need to provide the host IP. Okay. And point uh, administrator login and password. So root again. But this time I need to help myself with this password. Okay, next. Same story, don't forget about the proper node configuration. As I said, in my scenario, only one node, one node configuration. Choose a proper strategy and create. As you can see, uh, configuration wizard is asking you about the synchronization. So say, say, same story, yes. And now we need to wait for another synchronization to complete. Okay, our two synchronizations are, are finished. So let's see now what we, what we can find in virtual environments, virtualization provider. As you can see, my two hosts are added. And after synchronization, I can see a number of virtual machines running there. So in this scenario, 24 and 13 on this scenario. Next step, if you want to protect virtual machine running there, is to create a backup destination because we need to put data somewhere. How to do it? Go in the left menu into backup destination and in my scenario I will be using file system but don't forget storeware support different type of uh, backup destinations such as object storages, enterprise, backup, enterprise backup providers uh, and currently added tape uh, pools. 
So, uh, create button, and from the list I'm going to choose file system. I need to name somehow uh, my backup destination. I will choose name local NFS. And yes, I want to use default uh, backup destination. Also, I need to choose a proper node configuration and point where uh, my backup is located. So in that scenario, uh, vprotect dash uh, underscore data slash NFS. And I can save a configuration. Okay, my newly created backup destination is here. Now I can use it uh, to be a backup destination for my backup. All right, so next step, virtual environments instances. Here administrator can find a full list of virtual um, machine running on each uh, Proxmox uh, host. And for example, if I want to protect this one, simply select it and click back. Uh, there is a warning, let's call it information for to administrator about something, because I forget to create a backup SRA, which is important and mandatory to protect virtual items running in Proxmox. So if you want to create a backup SLA, go directly here, backup SLA. I will create a new one. So create button, backup. SLI, let's call it that way. And yeah, if you want to add one or more uh, virtual items running on Proxmox, basically open virtual environments tab. And from the list, uh, you can use search, you can use filters to help yourself find a specific virtual item running in Proxmox. Let me find uh, mine test subjects. So this view, this one. Now I need to create a rule. In rule, I need to point or decide about several things, such as where I want to store my backups. So here I'm pointing my backup destination and how long storage should keep backup in the backup destination. As you can see, in case of a uh, file system, there are two options, so full and incremental of number of days and full incremental uh, of number of versions. I will choose to keep this as default. Now I need to add some schedule. So how often show storage should protect that information? So schedule creator. And yes, let's create one schedule for the full backup and second schedule for incremental backup. Proxmox full, let's call it like that. Okay. And maybe during the weekend full backups will be okay. Perfect. And let's create another schedule, this time for incremental backup. So basically from the list you are choosing, you are choosing the incremental backup. So let me copy, paste it here. Also at Proxmox at the end. And now, mm, maybe other day uh, of the week uh, without Saturday. I think that should be fine. So let me save it. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> this is uh, unfortunate, but let's keep it that way. So incremental without Saturday and Saturday full backup for the Proxmox. Um, default setting here and my test subject is uh, inside that policy. Perfect. Now I can uh, save a configuration. Okay, so as you can see, newly created backup, uh, backup uh, policy is here and one VM, my test subject, is there. Okay, so now I can execute that policy. How to do it? There are two ways to execute the policy. First step or first way is here, directly from backup SLA. Basically, go there and execute a backup. Also, second way, instance view. And here from the list, I can easily find virtual machine with policy, like in that scenario. I can select it and execute a backup. Let's start a new chain of backup, full. Same story, like um, during the synchronization process, a task has been submitted and administrator easily 
can see a live progress directly here in the workflow uh, console. Like in my scenario, let me, let me ex extend this job. So shortly, yeah, my export task is running. Now we need to wait. Okay, so our backup is finished. Now, okay, here a backup is outdated. Let's refresh, now much uh, better. Okay, so next step is to run incremental one. So again, select a test subject and from the list, incremental backup. I'm using SSH transfer, so both backup are available for me. And also my virtual um, VM is using KUKAU2 disks. Same story like previously, uh, our test subject, so Alpine-15PP is on the workflow console. I can easily track a process directly here. Okay, so it's take a while. I will use that uh, few seconds uh, as an opportunity to describe what server backup and recovery offer more to administrator. Every item which you can see right now here in this view is fully clickable. So like me previously, I can um, use names at the top of the list uh, to see a virtual machine with the policy to last a successful backup, backup size, but also I can go <coughs> directly into virtual item, like in that scenario, and see uh, some statistic about that single item. So uh, let's start with this diagram. So daily activities are here, but also that could be handy for administrator. A uh, backup statistic divided into few sections, like uh, backup size, backup time, as well as transfer rate, which currently is uh, empty. Also, below on the bottom menu, I can see information about the backups which are currently in a backup destination. Also, backup history. Like in my scenario, this one is already completed and this one is currently in progress. Also, don't forget to use filters to see only information from available uh, time between specific uh, days. Restore are, is currently empty, but my snapshot are here. And also, uh, from this point of view, from this point in the web UI, I can easily revert snapshot in a hypervisor. Same information about the disk. I can see both disks uh, attached to that VM. And if I need it, I can exclude uh, that one or two disk uh, from a backup. Okay, so that's all. And together, let's wait for the incremental backup to complete. Okay, uh, incremental is also finished. So now we should be able to see in backup, not one, but two. Full and incremental uh, copy, perfect. So now let's try opposite uh, way. So restore. What store backup and recovery offers you in case of protection uh, of Proxmos um, uh, environment? Okay, so let's find our test subject. I think the backup SLI, yeah, perfect. Now, uh, when you are, uh, when you want to uh, do a restore, store offers you, first of all, mode. This option uh, allows you to granularly browse files and folders located on the image. So how to do it properly? First, select the proper copy. As you can see, this is our two copies, full and uh, incremental. I can choose this one. And shortly after that image will be mounted to our node and administrator can use SSH to uh, see files and folders on that image. And also administrator can use our web UI to browse files and folders and download single file directly to his PC. Second way is to recreate virtual machine directly into hypervisor. So when I choose that option, short wizard appear and at the beginning 
also the same uh, options, the same, uh, the same, the same options. What I want to choose, so data to copy, which are located in my backup destination. Let's choose the latest uh, one. Okay. Now I can uh, choose the proper hypervisor. As you remember, I add two separate uh, hosts from one single cluster. I can do a cross restoration between them. Okay. Also, I can rename uh, or name properly that virtual machine during the restoration. So let me add here a demo at the end. Okay. Next. Now I can choose or select the storage. In my scenario, I need to use NFS local and uh, also store will allow you to choose a proper net uh, configuration for example during the restore after the restore to avoid um, IP conflicts in your network network in my scenario there is only single uh, network uh, available so not much choice uh, to use next um, quick look what we have here. First of all, I can replace, so delete if virtual machine already exists. So I can replace, for example, broken one running on the Proxmox with the good one taken directly from a backup destination. A single flag, uh, one point to use, easy to use. Second, uh, I can choose if I want to power on or power off virtual machine after restoration. In my scenario, I will keep that simple, so both uh, um, options uh, not used. Okay, quick look on the summary here, and now I can go directly into restore option. Same story, restore, uh, restore task has been submitted, so now me as administrator can easily track a uh, live progress here in the work execution uh, workflow execution console. Let's wait together uh, for the final result. Okay, so uh, both tasks in restore process are completed. Now let's double check together. Can we see newly created virtual machine ready to be used in Proxmox environment? Yeah, our test subject uh, restored is here. Now as administrator, I can uh, power on it or use it for, of course, a uh, good purpose. So that's all. Now you know how Storer Backup and Recovery works with Proxmox environment. For another episode of Storer Academy, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.